Welcome down to the Barbarian Bar. We're going to talk about the five items that are going to make your EDC better. In no particular order, let's kick things off with number one, in my opinion, the lanyard or bead on your knife. Before you click off, before you say, Mike, you're crazy. I'm not putting a lanyard on my knife. Hear me out. Just hear me out. So this is a Benchmade bug out and I have a little bead lanyard on there. And I carry my knives primarily deep pocket. So it's sitting there really deep in the pocket. I can just grab that lanyard, pull it right out. So another functional use of having a lanyard is, let's say you have a small knife like this. This is a very simple way to now grip with two fingers like this onto a smaller knife. And so you see I'm hooking it with my pinky and my ring finger. Because it's so small, the lanyard makes this easier to purchase the full knife. Because I don't want to always bring like a larger knife, carry it around my pocket. Maybe I want something small, something easy. Maybe I'm wearing basketball shorts or whatever. Now I can really use the knife. So lanyards come in handy, not just for looks, even though they do look cool. Just saying. Pouches. Pouches are extremely handy. You give it all sorts of pouches here. You've got a sling style pouch. You got something that's easy to slide in and out of the pocket. You got maybe a one knife style pouch with some loop on it. You've got a larger pouch. Maybe you put your camping gear inside that one. You've got a smaller pouch, maybe a palm size for maybe a first aid kit or other tools. Maybe this is just your main everyday one. This is actually the one that I like to carry. I like that size a lot. You've got pouches with pockets on the outside, zippers. You got just plain pouches that uh, don't fully open, more of a purse style. You know, you got all sorts of pouches. You know, one of the cool ones that I think is going to make your EDC better is a, a roll up pouch. This is going to allow you to put all your EDC gear into one roll up spot. So maybe you just want to, you know, carry a couple knives over to see a friend or anything like that. This is going to be a great option to put all your knives in one spot without uh, maybe throw them in the bottom of a backpack or a duffel bag. I've been kind of a fan of these ones. You know, you can put your stuff in there. It's very malleable. You can just slide your hanks and stuff in there. I like this size. This is kind of one of the first ones I ever got. You put your stuff in there and now you can just simply put that in your pocket. Super convenient. So this is a pouch that I had Dickinson Trading Post make me. It's super simple. See, everything is now in one organized spot. I can slip this into my pocket, whether I'm wearing basketball shorts or you know maybe it's something that uh, a pair of sweatpants, just something super easy. I want to keep it organized and organization is absolutely key. So I got my knife in here and a flashlight and I got my money and cards in the back right here. Slip those in there, my knife, now you just put that right in my pocket and go on with my day and keep things organized. Pouches are absolutely key to making your EDC better. There's also very small pouches like this. Put your reeds on there, support some cool little uh, patches. And you want to put your, maybe your beer bomb in there. Boom. Now you don't scratch it up. Maybe you want to put this into a bag, another bag. There you go. Great way to keep your items clean and safe. You now, pouches, they definitely make your EDC so much better. So how is this gonna make your EDC better? It allows you to put everything in one spot without taking up real estate in your pocket. The hank, the hank is something that's absolutely vital to my EDC. You've got some hanks that are larger with microfiber that's on the back for maybe a heavier duty use. You've got pocket sized ones with uh, little patches on there with microfiber on the back. You know, they come in all sorts of designs. You got one that's got a uh, lanyard bead on there, easy to pull out your pocket. You got some cool designed ones that uh, more microfiber on the back. You know, what else we got here? You got the ones that come with your knife, those are pretty neat. You got some larger ones. You know, all these things are really cool. We got some pirate patterns. Um, old style, handkerchief style. This one doesn't have microfiber on it. All these things come in handy. These are, I just, I just love Hanks. 
So what you can do with these, if you want to take photos, let's just say you're like me and you like photography, now you take this hank and you lay your gear on top of it. And I'll tell you what, that's really gonna make your photography stand out more than anybody else's. You know, I just, hanks are so important to your EDC. So not only is this hank, you know, gonna be great for photos, but it's gonna allow you to maybe wipe off the screen of your phone, glasses, clean your lens here. You know, that's gonna make your EDC better. You know, maybe you want to clean the blade off your knife. So this one might be a little different than the other one. So this is gonna make your EDC as far as your knife better. And the reason it's gonna make your knife better is because you're not gonna be using your knife as a pry tool. Pry bars, pry tools, things that uh, you use to pry out things without using your knife. When I first got into EDC, I made this pry bar out of a 10 millimeter wrench. It was kind of a double whammy, so it was like, hey, I lost my 10 millimeter wrench, but I got one in my pocket, and it's also a pry tool, and it keeps me from using the blade of my knife, scraping into things here, prying on things. It's an absolute must in my EDC, as far as showing my EDC today. The awesome Hank, this is made out of titanium. It's got a bottle opener on there. This is going to be like my workhorse. The pry bar is gonna be something that I can really dig into things, you know. Maybe you're like me and you like blades that are black. You don't wanna scratch those, use a pry tool. Scratch up this thing. Last tip I think is gonna make your EDC better actually goes back to the knife as well. We're talking knife sharpeners. These are the knife sharpeners that I like to use and I want to talk about these ones specifically because they're really going to be kind of something that uh, anybody can use. You've got something you can throw in your pouch, you know, you get the ceramic on one side here. I think it's a six or 800 grit so you can just shoop. So that's going to be something that's very simple and very convenient. Uh, it's got this 20 degree so not now you keep that same grind blade there and very simple. And this one is kind of one of my more favorite ones because you can kind of choose what degree you want it to be at. Simply put this in here and I believe that stropping your knife rather than full on like really grinding off the edge and taking off steel. Stropping is probably more important in my opinion. You can correct me in the comments down below, but I believe stropping is way, way better. If you're like me, you always like to have a nice sharp edge, so check how easy that is. So I've chose the angle I want it to be. This is helpful. So this is gonna definitely make your EDC better. All right, let's talk about the bonus tip. The bonus tip is coffee. Coffee makes your EDC so much better. How? Because it's gonna allow you to have the energy to freaking use it. No, I'm just kidding. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know down in the comments here and tell me what items would make my EDC better or your EDC better that maybe I missed out on and let's talk about them. And I will make another video replying to the comments down below and talking about the items that you believe would make the EDC better as well. Make sure your coffee is stronger than your toddler and we will see you on the next video. <laughs> that was really good. Make sure to check out one of my other videos and hit that subscribe button. That gets me going for the day. So good. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Well, we had a coffee time to go make some.